Me too. I didn't even have to say it. She said it for <laughs> you. We're headed there now. See you at the expo. Chris. There we go. Perfect. We're at Expo West, day number two. Actually, this is a real day. Everything's open. We're gonna go in, see all the goodies we can find. Vanilla. That's really good too. It tastes like a cupcake. So like, if you could literally have protein powder and it's healthy for you and it tastes like a cupcake, that's insane. So good. Now the first place I had to stop on the first day of Expo West is at Marco's booth, which is 22 Days Nutrition. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. I, thank I love you. your thank stuff. You. And I gotta say, just real quick, I never liked berry powders. I always liked vanilla, chocolate. And I tried this out and it's now my new favorite one. But I talk about it all the time. Um, the inspiration for that, believe it or not, came from when I was a kid, we used to drink quick at home. Yeah. And I got to the point where when we didn't have anything to put the quick into, I'd take the spoons of it and eat it. <laughs> so I, I got addicted to it. So I, you know, as, as a you know, as a grown up I was like, okay, so what's my quick fix? Right? So when we developed the line, we knew we had to do something with strawberry because A, there are no great strawberry powders out there. And B, again, we we are always selfishly formulating for what we're looking for. That's why we're always USD organic, always 100% plant-based, non-GMO, gluten-free, soy-free, because we're essentially formulating for ourselves. And if we're gonna formulate for ourselves, you know, we're gonna wanna put the best stuff into our body. Exactly, do what you like, do what is it. best for and you, share and it. share it with everyone else. Enjoy it. Exactly. Um, so how did, just real quick, tell the audience how what the meaning behind 22 Days is and how you got started with that. Well, 22 days comes from the principle that it takes 21 days to make or break a habit. So if you adopted a healthy habit over the course of 21 days, on the 22nd day, you'd be armed with a new tool to live a healthier lifestyle. And essentially, I've always known, you know, my background is in exercise physiology and biology, and I always knew that the only way to bring about uh, you know, sustainability was through behavior modification, right? You have to change someone's behavior. You have to change the process if you want to change the outcome, right? If not, you're doing the same thing over and over again. So for me, it really was about empowering people with habits so they can continue to live the life that they truly wanted to live and not just the life that they're living. And you formulate meal plans and you've recently done this for Beyonce. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a, we're incredibly blessed and it's been a really exciting process. Again, you know, this started as a selfish desire to create products that I couldn't find in the marketplace. I had adopted a plant-based diet and I knew that I was, you know, I, I was looking for certain things that I couldn't find and I, and I got frustrated with the fact that a lot of companies formulate for label copy rather than function. I thought to myself, you know, somebody should do something different. I thought, well, I'm not the kind of guy that sits around. I'm very proactive. I'm going to do something different. So we designed the company with that in mind. We're going to be able to empower our people provide the tools that they need to live a healthier lifestyle so it's not about looking for a niche and saying oh protein powders haha let's make that we're gonna make what we know people need to live a healthier lifestyle what we are in ourselves gonna use to live a healthier lifestyle so it started off with protein bars energy bars protein powders and then we launched the 22 day vegan challenge you might remember and we just encourage people to adopt a vegan you know lifestyle vegan diet for 22 days to give it a try because if we invite people in if we make it more inclusive more people are gonna want to try it Right? They're gonna you feel good it, about it. Yeah. yeah. If you put up a wall and you and, and you you know uh, you, you want to criticize everyone that walks in, you say, oh, you're you're wearing leather, or you're, you're not, not in my club. You're not doing this for the right reasons, or you can't be part-time vegan. You can't be veganish. If you have all those barriers to entry, then mo most people are not going to want to try it. And you and I both know that what gets people to stick to this is for them to try it. I just want them to try it. Try it for 22 days because once you try it for 22 days, you're gonna want to continue. You're that's, gonna feel that's, good. The message is you're gonna feel great. I spoke to a guy yesterday, you're not gonna believe this. A guy drove by yesterday in a forklift, stopped and says, you guys are awesome. And I said, thank you so much. And he goes, I went 100% plant-based and then I went back to eating food. And I felt like shit. And I said, wow. 
And he, what did you do then? He goes, I went back to eating plant-based. I had gone in just to lose a couple of pounds and I find myself coming back because I realized that I felt good, but it wasn't until I went back to eating the other stuff that I realized how good I felt when I was in a plant-based diet. So for exactly. me, that was so gratifying because most people don't realize that if you judge people, they're not gonna wanna enter. Exactly. Judge less, love more. Let people come in however it feels right for them because if we do that, we create a better place, we create a better planet, and if everyone in the world ate just one plant-based meal a day, the world would be a much better place. That means one third of our reduction. I mean, like, just do the math behind it, from water conservation to the animals that we're gonna save to the reduction of cruelty. I mean, it's just, it, it, it grows exponentially. Again, people feel better about their habits and about their actions, and when they feel better, they wanna continue that because good actions basically perpetuate better actions, right? I couldn't agree more. So, uh, so awesome. tell me what's in this and what's not in this. What's in this is, it's really simple. It's pea protein, milk flaxseed, and sacha inchi. What's not in it, gums, binders, fillers, artificial sweeteners, sugars. It's really simple. There are no suspension agents. You know that. It's you really good. basically pour this into a glass of almond milk or a glass of water or a glass of homemade uh, uh, macadamia milk, whatever you want to use, and you stir it up in the blender and you have the most delicious plant-based protein you have ever seen. Again, USD organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, soy free and incredibly delicious so and where can people find it target um, stores across the country Amazon on our website of course 22 days nutrition.com and uh, if you're here at Expo West 1471 awesome well hey it's always a pleasure always seeing you. To see you man thank you so much for coming all right by. I really take appreciate care it. thank you days and what's Expo without seeing Miyoko How's it going? It's going great. I'm doing my happy dance here at Expo West 2018. Is that the year that we're in? Yeah, I, I mean, I can't remember. But anyway, years are flying by. Okay, it really is. Hey, we got all new branding, all new website, and I'm gonna get an all new tattoo. My first tattoo. This is a fake one, but I'm gonna get a phenomenally vegan tattoo on the 19th. I actually made an appointment. I'll be doing a Facebook Live and encouraging everyone else to get a phenomenally vegan tattoo because we got to leave the lifestyle. You have cream cheese. We got a cream cheese. Yep. So we've got three new flavors of cream cheese rolling out this year, and we have the first, the world's first, lox flavored cream cheese. That's what's really exciting. Look so at that. Could, and then we have this sort of for the beer drinker. We have a new line of cheeses called <laughs> Vegan Roadhouse Cheese Spread, and we got them in three different flavors. They're great for pretzels. They're great for just kicking back with a beer. You know, we were kind of like this snooty cheese company with the for the wine drinkers. But yeah. now we're just going to get down and dirty and have a glass of beer and dip your pretzel in the cheese. And you guys know that I make pizza with her cheese all the time. It's the best. And we thank you for that. Yeah. And I thank you for making a great product. So there you go, guys. There Miyoko's go. cheese. That's right. And here's a new recipe book. You want this? Should we do a giveaway? Yeah. We should do a giveaway sometime. We should do a giveaway. Absolutely. And remember, I have that coupon code. Check that out, hey, too. Hey, we should do a giveaway of the new line. What do you guys Not think? even on the market yeah? yet. Let's do it. You guys, will, you'll be the first. All we'll right, do let's it. do it. We'll have something up. Okay. All right, guys. Sounds good. See you later. On to the next one. Insane. I'm standing here with David, the founder of Field Roast. Everybody knows Field Roast. And a lot of people were, were wondering, I did that video for you guys. I really wish you guys would watch that before you make any judgments. But Maple Leaf bought out Field Roast within the last six months or so? That's right, that's right, yeah, yeah. Just, just like actually a month and a half ago we closed. And uh, you know, it's been long. My wish for the 21 years I've been running the company um, to work with a, a meat company because uh, they have the infrastructure and, and know, you know the ability to expand vegan foods into the marketplace. And so far it's gone really well. They've really have done an incredible job with building our capacity and then building our brand you know, to go into new markets. And um, these are some of our newest products right here. Uh, we have yeah, the dressings. Yeah, we have a new line of dressings right here. You can see the. Uh, these are kind of like the fresh uh, deli dressings. We have ranch, a thousand island, and then plastic Caesar. We also have our new mayo too, which is really awesome. These are all chow, 
So this is with our fermented tofu that we that we developed and we went to Taiwan and learned how to ferment tofu to give it that really cheesy flavor. And then we added to our, all of our chow products that give it a kind of an authentic awesome. you know, fermented flavor. And, and just for peace of mind, Field Notes yeah. is all vegan and will all remain, vegan. All vegan. always remain vegan. Yeah, and, and you know, what, because we heard all this concern, um, we put together a vegan affirmation. Right, I saw that where yeah. there's like a whole clause where it's a whole, it always will remain vegan. Yeah, yeah, and which means like sampling all vegan foods, any company event is all vegan. Um, and so, you know, they signed that. We had a ceremony actually at Field Notes to change, like changing of the keys. And I presented the keys to the business to, to Maple Leaf. And, and they signed the vegan affirmation then. And it was, it was totally willing. It wasn't like something that we had to like bend their arm at or they felt like they had to do. And remember, this is all the money that that company put into a vegan company. So yeah. they're bringing vegan to the world. Yeah. And that's a good thing. We're promoting vegan and it's growing and it's growing. That's what we that's want. Right. That's right. So it's always nice seeing you. Nice, nice to see you too. And I love Thank your you. product. Thank you. And yeah. uh, if you haven't tried Field Rose, yeah. try it out. Yeah, check out our new dressings too. I already know how that tastes. Amazing. Exactly. Oh my God. Chris, you have to try this. I'll try it again. Okay.